It's a very clever, you know, basic exploitation of the, of, the, of the lack of economic understanding of the American voter. The American voter is too stupid to understand the difference. <laughs> and basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter. Straight from the horse's mouth, Jonathan Gruber telling you that the architects of Obamacare think that you're stupid. And most importantly, they are absolutely counting on your lack of economic understanding. They aren't the only villains in this story, though. They are also depending on the liberal media to help them cover up the truth. So far, NBC, ABC, the LA Times, and the Associated Press, and others, have been only too happy to comply. Those outlets have not even mentioned the video evidence from Jonathan Gruber. It is shocking, but it actually doesn't surprise me because when I was at CNBC, I pointed out to my viewers that the math of Obamacare simply didn't work. Not the politics, by the way, just the basic math. And when I did that, I was silenced. I said on the air that you couldn't add millions of people to the system and force insurance companies to cover their pre-existing conditions without raising the price on everyone else. I pointed out that it couldn't possibly be true that if you like your plan, you can keep it. That was a lie. And in fact, millions of people had their insurance canceled. As a result of what I said at CNBC, I was called into management where I was told that I was, quote, disrespecting the office of the president by telling what turned out to be the absolute truth. This Fox business is the only network in Fox News not complicit in the campaign to keep you in the dark. Don't trust the other guys. I can tell you firsthand, they are willing participants in the campaign to keep the economic truth from you. Don't let them do it.